In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have created this oval shape which is cut into six equal parts and I have given a different color shading for each option. And when I click, it will show you the option one with the title icon and the detailed text. When I click, it will show you the second option, the third, fourth, fifth and sixth and in the center, I have added uh, this particular uh, meeting business people uh, a photo or icon to it so depending on your requirement you can just change uh, these uh, icons and I have created one more slide where without animation I have just used a uh, icon which is I have downloaded from the PowerPoint itself and if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the circle hollow just click it here and to increase the size go to the shape format and make it the size according to your requirement in this case i'm going to make it 4.5 the both the height and width and then align center align middle and you can see the small orange point you can just uh, uh, drag this outside to make it you know the width and you can just drag this inside so depending on your requirement you can adjust the width of this one all right so i'm just going to make it uh, maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline now the next step is i'm going to split or cut this uh, oval shape into a uh, six equal parts for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much height and width shape outline make it no outline then align center align middle so uh, instead of cutting from here i'm just going to rotate this uh, the, this rectangle okay maybe by 20 degrees or 30 degrees so i'm just going to press alt and the right arrow key one time only you can see here like this now again i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d again align center align middle and then i'm going to press one two three times okay or could be four times let's see press ctrl d again one two three four so you can see here i've got one two three four five six equal uh, shapes i will get into this one so first of all just i'm going to press ctrl a to select all the objects go to the shape format merge shape and make it fragment all right so now i don't want unwanted objects i'm just going to select one by one or i can just select like this also i can delete it you can see here now again this also i, I don't need I'm deleting one by one and here also I'm just going to delete this all right so you can see here now this has been divided into six equal parts so this is I can make it separate also one two three four five and six so now the next step what I'm going to do is I'm going to give some different color for each uh, shape okay so go to the shape format depending on your requirement you can start giving different color combination all right maybe with red i'm going to give it maybe green any color of your choice uh, you can choose from okay maybe blue a purple and then i'm going to give uh, could be a yellow color all right now once this is done i'm going to again select all the objects by pressing ctrl a and press ctrl g to group it okay then i'm going to give a 3d look for that one select this right mouse click go to the format shape uh, under the effects you can see here the 3d format and 3d rotation go to 3d rotation presets i'm going to choose this one which is isometric top up so it looks something like this all right and then to give the depth you have to go to the 3d format and from the depth I will just increase the depth according to the requirement maybe this much size and again if you feel that this particular uh, the oval shape or this particular design is small you can 
increase it by holding the shift key you can see here i can just increase it or you can hold the control shift key in the, no in, don't, don't do that one just put the uh, this uh, shift key only just hold the shift key and increase the size according to your requirement again go to the shape format align center and align middle all right so once this is done you can give some shadow effect to give the shadow effect i can press ctrl d to duplicate this one and i'm going to make it the depth as zero okay then i'm going to the fill and line solid fill i'm going to give some gray color here all right and if you want you can just make some more transparent send this to back and i'm just going to put it like this so you can see here i have created the shadow effect as well now once this is done you can add some icons here you can go to insert icons you can choose any icons uh, from this one or you can just go to any website and download some free stuff so you can see here i've got variety of uh, icons so whatever the best possible i'm just going to choose this from so maybe i'm just going to choose any person okay let's let's uh, go through that one i think i'm just going to choose maybe this girl click insert and increase the size and put it exactly in the center all right and if you want you can just change the color to any other color whichever but i feel black is okay then i'm going to insert text box and i'm going to add the option numbers okay make it bold increase the size and i'm going to put it one here press ctrl d to duplicate the second one the third fourth fifth and sixth all right now let me just quickly change these numbers to two three four five and six all right so i've got this number change now if you see here this numbers is not uh, looking good with this one it looks like it's the numbers are are uh, kind of uh, standing so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this uh, numbers by holding the shift key okay and you can just change to white color if you want and then you have got two options here if you see here shape options and text options remember we are working with the text here so i have to select the text option go to the text effects and go to the 3d rotation i'm going to choose this one which is the isometric top up so you can see here if i choose like that that will come like this if i choose this one whichever you can see here we have to just choose it wisely maybe i need to choose this one i think this is perfect okay which is the perspective relax you can see here as if it is the numbers are printed on this one okay one two three four five six so once this is done you can go to insert text box you can add detailed text along with title okay I'm, I'm not going to put the title but you can put your title and you can give some gray color press ctrl d to duplicate this will come here all right one by one you can just add this all right so you can see here with this we have completed the design and if you like to do some basic animation you can do the animation to it